Hello everyone. Welcome to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel. Today's topic is associative arrays. Let's see the key features. The first key feature is the storage is allocated only when it is used. If initially your associative array is empty, no storage is allocated at that time. When you start adding elements in the associative array, only then the storage will start getting allocated. Now, if you remember in the previous lectures, we had discussed dynamic arrays. We had discussed fixed size array, packed and unpacked array are fixed size array. In that we had seen that the index was always of type int. But in associative array, you can have any type. If I want to have string, possible. If I want to have class, or even that is also fine. One of the most important thing in associative array is that it implements a lookup table. What is a lookup table? Lookup table is a set of key value pair. It means for every element in the associative array, you will have a key and you will have a value associated with it. Now, in the associative array, there is something called as index. This index will serve as the key of the lookup table and data type of the index will be data type of your key. Let us understand this with an example. Say I have an associative array named as fruits in which the key is having the data type string. If it is a string, how can I impose ordering in string? In string, it should be alphabetically, means A, B, C, D. So if I have apple as a fruit, that will come first, then banana, like this in sequence. Even if the user is not saving it or not giving the elements to the array in order, still the key will impose ordering. Let's see the syntax of associative array. First, you have to tell the data type of the array. Then you have to tell name and the data type of the index. If you don't specify the index type, you can give star. In that case, int will be taken as default. Here is how you can declare. You are giving int, which is the type of the array, data type of the array. So this is the data type of value. Okay, it is a value. Then the name of the array is fruits and the data type of your index, which is key is string. So key is of string type and value is of type int and the name of array is fruits. Okay. If we don't give a, the index type, like if I give star, then it takes int. One thing which we should remember is application of anything comes from its key feature. The key feature of associative array is you allocate storage only when it is used. That's why I can use it in application where size is unknown. I can use it where the data space is very limited. Let's see some of the methods. If you want to know the size of array, use size. Okay, this is the uh, type of the value it returns. It returns int, whatever is the size of the array it will return. If you want to know the number of elements, use num. If you want to delete a particular element, then you can give the index. If you give index, that particular element is deleted. If you see this index is in square bracket, which means it's an optional argument. If you don't specify this argument, then also this command is valid. But if you are not specifying any index, that time the entire array itself will be deleted. If you want to check a particular element exists or not, you can give the index. And if the element exists, the function returns one, else it returns zero. Now, if you want to get the value of the first element, then you can create a variable of type index and pass it here. And to this, the value of the first element will be assigned. Then you can display it. 
similarly if you want to know the value of the last element you can use last if you want to know what is the element previous to a particular element say uh, i want to know what is the fruit which is before banana so i can give here um, i can declare uh, here a string type of variable assign it the value of banana and pass that variable here okay then i will get the value okay i will come to know what is the value of the element which is previous to banana okay after that <clears throat> year if you want to know what is the next element okay say for example after banana i had given dragon fruit and here i am passing banana next banana i want to know what is after banana then say i have given dragon fruit so alphabetically dragon fruit will come after banana so using these methods you can easily access array you can perform some operations on it in the next lecture we are going to see a coding example in which we are also going to use these methods if you see that coding example this associative array will be very clear in your mind so stay tuned for more lectures see you in the next lecture